Booker and Brewer are going at it. And now Nance Jr. getting into it with Booker. You will not believe some of the fights that Devin Booker has gotten himself into. Let's be honest here, fighting in any sport has a tendency to pique our interest, and while the NBA has cracked down on fighting and altercations on the court during the last few seasons, players still manage to do it. And that's especially true for the Phoenix Suns guard Devin Booker, who's found himself in a number of fights throughout his young career. The first fight we're going to talk about was between him and Gorgie Jeng. There was just over five minutes remaining in the quarter, and Booker attempted to drive into the lane, but he was stripped of the ball while doing so and him and Jeng ended up colliding as they tried diving for the basketball. Jeng apparently elbowed Booker in the middle of it all, and it caused an immediate confrontation between the two men. They marched over to one another face to face and began arguing. Shortly after players and officials tried to come in and separate the two, it looked as if Booker actually threw a punch or an elbow at Jeng and somewhat connected it. This caused the stoppage to last a little longer as the refs had to go searching through the footage to determine what the punishments were going to be. After a few minutes, the officials decided that they were going to hand technical fouls to both parties and eject them each from the current contest. But on the way out, Jeng was seen shouting for Booker to meet him in the tunnel. Booker ended up following through on that comment. He walked right after Jeng towards the tunnel, with one security guard doing everything he could to stop Devin from making it in. However, in the end, neither of them was able to meet up with one another in the hallway, so thankfully the incident didn't escalate beyond repair. During the press conference that ensued after this whole ordeal, Jeng was honestly confused as to why he was punished. His full quote was, Technical foul, okay, that's fine, but an ejection? I want to know why. I know if you get two techs, you get ejected, but I got one tech, and I didn't throw a punch. He's the one who tried to hit me, right? And I got ejected. I want to know why. Jeng does have a valid argument. He didn't start the fight, nor did he lay a finger on Devin, but was ejected because Booker swung at him. However, Jeng wasn't able to play off his invitation to the locker room with Booker. Funny enough, he genuinely told the reporters that the only reason he asked Booker to meet him in the tunnel was so that they could exchange jerseys with one another. Obviously, that seems a little bit far-fetched, and I can almost guarantee that the reporters didn't buy it. But man, the fact that he was able to say that with a straight face was just incredible. Almost incredible as the fight between Booker and Enos Cantor, but we'll get to that one a little bit later in the video. First, we're going to talk about an incident between the Stifle Tower himself, Rudy Gobert, and Booker. The Phoenix Suns and the Utah Jazz were locked in a tight 89-86 ballgame with just 40 seconds remaining. The Jazz were in the lead here, but the Suns were in control of the ball and had a chance to tie it all up. Another guard for Phoenix drove into the lane and was about to attempt a layup before he was deterred by Gobert in the paint. This caused him to toss the ball out to a teammate, though it landed in the hands of the opposing Joe Ingles, who was standing right there. And that's when this play started to get even messier. Ingles lost control of the ball just seconds after his takeaway, and it rolled to another Suns player, who then tried to dish it out to Booker behind the three-point line. The only problem was that it was a poor pass, and it rolled out of bounds with Booker chasing after it. Gobert had switched onto Booker during the madness of that possession and was seen talking mad trash to Devin after he wasn't able to catch up to that ball. Now this caused Booker to turn around and throw the ball at Gobert's back, with the two going face to face arguing until people finally got involved to break them up. Just like coaching staff had to get involved in order to break up the fight between Booker and James Harden. Harden was getting himself ready to score but was met with a very hard foul at the hands of Devin Booker from behind. Devin had grabbed both of Harden's shoulders so that he couldn't get himself into the motion that he wanted, and he tried to hold him stationary for a few seconds. While Booker probably didn't have any cruel intent here, it more than likely didn't feel that way from James' point of view, and he got furious. He stormed over to Devin, and the two started arguing before finally they each shoved each other. Almost immediately after they laid hands on one another, the coaching staff and other teammates sprinted over to the pile to separate them to avoid any more punishments. Thankfully, it all worked out pretty well, but you can't blame Harden for getting mad about that foul. After all, an awkward landing like that could seriously hurt your legs or arms depending on the motion that your body is trying to do before getting thrown for that loop. This next fight didn't actually result in a fight, but was simply an altercation that needed to be stopped before it got out of hand. It was a game between the Suns and the Los Angeles Clippers, and Paul George and Booker were simply on bad terms throughout the entire contest. Now, obviously, George has heard a ton of criticism for his poor play at times on the basketball court, so he wanted to set the record straight with a huge day. And it was working. The Clippers held a near 30-point lead at that time in the game, 
but that all changed when Booker made a huge play to create a spark for Phoenix offensively. He was going head-to-head -head with George on the perimeter when he crossed George before draining a step-back three-pointer. Phoenix stormed back into the game and George was getting furious with himself and the referees. Just a few minutes later, George was fouled hard on his way to the rim by Cameron Payne and he wasn't happy about it. He was arguing with the refs for quite some time before Booker stepped in and said that George was soft. It was almost immediately that Paul turned around and the two started jawing off at one another before teammates and officials had to step in before punches were thrown. One can imagine that Booker was the winner of this particular fight. I mean, he did cross Paul George over and then drain that shot, bringing his team back from a large deficit. You don't get to see that very often, just like this next fight between Devin Booker and Enos Cantor. The New York Knicks were crushing the Suns in this game at the time of the fight. It was 74-57 to with about four minutes left in the third quarter, and that's when things began to go downhill pretty fast. Devin tried to wiggle his way into the paint for a layup in an effort to cut into that lead, but was emphatically rejected at the cup by Enos Cantor. It was one of those highlight level blocks that you usually see on ESPN or SportsCenter, and it got the crowd pumped up. Cantor was a little hyped up himself, as he began to talk a little trash to Booker right after the two of them landed on their feet again. Though he was met with a shove in the back from Booker, and was about to turn around and argue with him before getting held back. Luckily, Chris Depp's Przingis was literally standing right next to both of them at that moment and was able to restrict Booker from attacking his teammate while other players surrounded Cantor. The referees then took a few minutes to look over all the footage and determine what the best punishment was going to be for the two men, and they came to the conclusion that Booker was going to be ejected from the game and that Cantor would be able to finish it up. Because, well, he didn't even do anything wrong in the first place. He was literally just getting hyped up and talking trash as you normally would after a huge highlight block and Booker just threw him an unwarranted shove. Wrapping up this video, I want to say thank you all so much for watching and be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Check out some more NBA fights.